relations to any key position, first of all, is the prerogative of the president. That's the first point. Secondly, the president has the right to appoint someone he can work with. But the third one is simple. He has to be sensitive to all Kenyans. Because first of all, the president is not going to pay these people from his pocket. These people are going to be paid by the public fund. And to that effect, the issue of integrity comes first before everything else. Our proposal is that no one should be given any state appointment if that person has gray areas. That is questionable. That is our position. It is unfortunate that whereas the people of Kenya have invested enormous resources to create a robust and independent judici judicial system, some judicial officers still run their offices with impunity. Kenyans are shocked at the speed with which the ODP, ODPP has of late been withdrawing cases associated with people who are well connected amidst condemnation of others by high-ranking government officials. We are in addition concerned with imposition of laws, regulations by foreign nations and all organizations and their influence at our domestic decision-making processes. This act of neocolonialism must be brought to an end. We have clear boundary of roles which we have to play. We as a church, we support the state and we pray for the, even for the president. In our prayers, we pray for, we pray for unity, for political unity, for everything else. But that does not mean to say we, we can stop others from going to visit the president. They have their own rights.